Hi, today I'm going to show you how can you create a report for all accounts whether they have related contacts or not. So let me show you first why this is a challenge in Salesforce. In Salesforce, as you know, there are some standard report types okay, that created out of the box that came standard with Salesforce. Whenever you create a Salesforce organization, you will find account report type and the contacts and the accounts report type. If you selected account, you will not have the contact details. Okay, you will see all accounts whether they have or doesn't have related contacts, but you will not see the related contacts details. Okay, and if you selected the contacts and the accounts report type, you will find only accounts that have a related contacts so for example i created this account test corner without contacts so if i try to run this report now let's change the filter to say all accounts and in fact it is not all accounts it's all accounts that have a related contacts okay but let's um it change the filter to all accounts and group by account name so that it's easy to see let's hide the details of this report hide the subtotal run this report now you will find only 18 accounts here available 18 records i'm sorry it, this these are 18 contacts but you couldn't find all of your accounts so this account for example test corner is not available in this report why because there is no any contacts related to it okay how can we overcome this challenge first of all you need to create a new custom report type so first of all, what is the report type? Report type is the skeleton. You are telling Salesforce which object you are going to query. Okay, so for example, this report type accounts, this is reading from the account object. Contacts and contact and accounts, it's reading from contacts object. Okay, and so on. So we are going to create our custom report type. Okay, now, how can we create a new custom report type? First of all, we need to go to our setup. Okay, and here you can search for report type. And as you see here, there's some instructions about what is the meaning of report type. It's helpful to read. Okay, continue. Okay. I didn't create this custom report type, but it seems like they have been created by a user called Autoprocess. So let's not pay any attention here and create our new custom report type. Okay, custom report type, here is the, the trick, the primary object. What should be our primary object? Our primary object should be accounts, not contacts. Okay, and what should be the report type label? We can say accounts with or without contacts you know let's try to write it full without i hope it will allow us okay perfect with or without contacts and automatically the report type name will be populated here account with or without contacts and the description will be the same A store in category we can store them in the category accounts and contacts you know what is the meaning of category category mean this categories so we have a category called account and contacts another one called opportunities so we would like to tell salesforce which category should we store this report type and should be stored in accounts and contacts and it should be deployed okay next okay now here's the trick we need all accounts okay and the another object related to account we need to report on contacts so we can search this for this menu for contacts and you can find the contacts here and as we see here from this um, diagram you will, he is trying to tell you okay I will display I will not display all the object a the primary object I will display only accounts that have related contacts in object B so we be, but this design will not solve our issue but here is the trick if you selected a record may or may not have related b records 
Do you see how the diagram have been changed? So the default behavior of this report, it will display all accounts regardless how many contacts it has, you know. So this is how we can uh, report on this. Um, we can save our report type now. Okay. And make sure everything is okay. And here in the field is available for reports. Make sure there are all account and all contacts fields has is available here. Okay. By default, Salesforce will add them, but it is recommended to check to make sure all your contacts or your fields are available here. Now let's go and see how um, we can use this report type to accomplish our need. So first of all, let's refresh this page. Okay. Click new report. Uh, as you remember, we stored the new custom report type in account and contacts category. So if you click the here and scroll down, do you see here in this category, you can find it's a standard report type, standard, standard. But this one, the custom one we just created. So we can select it and click start report. We can group by account name. We can say all accounts. Make sure to include all accounts. And created date of the account is all time. Okay. And let's see what fields are available here. So if you expanded, okay. So if you didn't notice this before, this preview will allow you to see all the fields in your report type. So as you remember here, there were 59 field in account, 57 in context. So they are available here. So that you can say, for example, this is the full name of the contact. Let's add the birth date of the contact also. Okay, I think you can just, yeah, birth date, slightly glitchy. Okay, but we can go with that. Um, let's add account um, billing city. Okay, um, double click and from the contact details we can add also uh, email, we can add mailing city. Okay, let's run this report now and see how it will look like. Let's hide the subtotal for now. So do you see here, for each account, if there is no contact, related contact, it will not display anything here. But if you added an account field like a billing city, it will be visible here. Okay, but for contact fields like mailing city, email, full name, birth date, if there is no contact, they will be blank. Okay, for example, this one, EG Communications account has two contacts. Okay, we can adjust this to be more user friendly, like we can start by billing city for each account. Okay and full name then email run yes this is more organized now this billing city clone is related to accounts so it's available for all accounts but full name email mailing city birth date all of these four clones are related to contacts so some accounts which has contact it will be available like this one but if there is no contact the row will be each cell will be a blank okay so what if i would like to see how many contacts i would like to create a new column here telling me how many contacts in each account so i can save this report i will say accounts with or without contacts okay just save and leave it now go back to your setup to your object manager and here we can apply another trick it's called the power of one we will create a formula in the contact level that will return that will always return one and i will show you why now um, this is a popular trick in salesforce if you don't know uh, if you don't know it you can search power of one and you will find a lot of articles talking about what is the benefit of having a field like this and child objects like contacts okay 
um, I will call it power of one literally and the number and it will return a number the formula will return a number and it shouldn't have any decimal places I'll click next and it should return one just one you see here I just added one okay so it will always return one if there is a contact record so and I will keep it visible for all profiles I don't want to display it in the page layout it will be a hidden field behind the scene okay now go back to your report and refresh click edit now we have a new column called power of one so if we selected this column we expect to have one the number of one in front of each contact but if there is no contact if there is a count without contacts it will be blank and we can use this trick to display a user friendly report okay let me show you this I will create a new summary formula for this report and this summary formula will be called the number of contacts okay and it shouldn't have any decimal places and okay now I will use the power of one field I will say I will ask Salesforce to sum the power of one insert so for each summary level in our scenario here account for each account sum the field power of one and if there is no context there will be no value in power of one in a specific account level so it will be zero let me show you how it will look like so i added it and i don't think we need the power of one now as a fee as a column because we already created a summary level so i will remove this i will run my report okay now I uh, do you see here number of contacts because why it is not visible here because we disabled the subtotal option let's do some adjustment to this I will display the subtotal I will not display the details row I will not di display the row count because it's confusing row count here is account one and row count here is two for contacts so it's confusing so I would I don't want to see the row counts I just want to see each account and how many contact in, in it so as you see here it displayed all your content or your accounts and if there is a contact related contacts it will display how many contacts there based on the formula we just created the power of one so power of one will return one and we will use this numeric value to create a summary level formula and calculate how many contacts in each account okay um, let me show you an example for example this account the report tells us there are four contacts let's make sure let's open this account in new tab and check how many contacts are there perfect we have four contacts okay for this account that's it I hope this was helpful and I hope this introduces the report type in a friendly way you know I know report type for some reason some people find report types in Salesforce is so confusing so this was a use case why we might need to create a custom report type um, how can we use it also we demonstrated the trick of having the power of one the power of one when we create this field in a child object we, what I mean by, with a child object it is an object related to a parent one like contact is related to a parent account when we create such a field which will always return one we can do such a summary in our reports quickly so you might not need to create a custom rollup field because it will consume one field and you might not need it all the time so you might just need to display it in a report like this um, 
I hope this was helpful and please if you have any comments or any question don't hesitate and ask me in the comments and also please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and have a great day.